Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know so many of us at the moment are hanging on to winter and we're slowly, slowly transitioning into spring. But if you know me, you know that I love a good turtleneck. And recently I've just purchased an Ami Paris turtleneck. So what I thought was why not put it into a video and showcase to you how I would style this turtleneck. But so many of us are hanging on to winter as much as we can before we transition into spring. And with the recent weather that we've been having at the moment, I think that we're going to definitely be holding on to our winter items for a lot longer than we thought we would be. And if this is the first time you see me or on this channel, hello, my name is Jack. I don't normally look like Leonardo DiCaprio, but lockdown has made me do it. Um, I'm interested in lifestyle. I'm also interested in fashion and styling. So this is hopefully where this channel is going to go. And if you haven't already done so, please do click the subscribe button or give it a like. Anyway, let's get into the video. <laughs> So when I first started this YouTube channel, the main focus for me was to showcase styling tips or things which I always tend to normally do or style up my outfits with. So in this video today, I'm going to showcase to you how I would style an Ami Paris turtleneck. This turtleneck is a wall turtleneck. It's quite oversized. It's quite baggy on the shoulders. Um, and a lot of people do question how they can style it even if it's like a cropped trouser or if they can style it with joggers or something like that. You can also fold the turtleneck down to make it look a little bit smaller but I don't really tend to do that and I don't enjoy doing that. I just allow it to be what it should be. So the first outfit is styling it with a black cropped trouser. So this would be a little bit more of a formal look. So this is what I would probably wear if I was going to work or if I was maybe going out to the theatre. <sighs> Styling technique of this outfit is when it comes into the shoes. So we've got a black cropped wool trouser. These are only from weekday. Um, I'll hopefully be able to find some and link them in the description below. I would most likely go for two options. So the first option would probably be a loafer, a, form a formal loafer. In this instance is my Gucci loafers. With the bottom of it, I've been wearing them in day in and day out. So classic, there's such a classic fit. And I think it's creating that formal look where we go into a black cropped with a loafer. And then the second shoe that I would most likely wear with this is actually a trainer. So it's a white trainer. These are my Christine Louboutin trainers and they have quite a thick um, sole to them. Now this is a standard white shoe. It's a standard white trainer, but you've got the red edging around it as well as the red sole at the bottom. And I think that just really correlates and really um, matches up with the Ami logo. And it's just a, a cute vibe. It's an absolute cute vibe. I would most likely wear this on a Sunday. Um, for example, if you were going out for lunch at a local barn or a local restaurant or a cafe, then this would be something which you could really tend to, to play with, actually. A turtleneck, some trainers, and a nice pair of formal trousers. So the next formal look I've got is me wearing these wide leg, high-waisted trousers. These are only from ASOS, they were only 30 quid. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to push myself out of the comfort zones and I'm gonna go for something wide leg. I've never gone for anything wide leg. I saw the trend and I just thought, I don't think I can rock it. And ever since having them, I love them. I would definitely think of that an oversized turtleneck with high-waisted wide legs um, wouldn't look really necessarily formal, but I, think it does create that formal look, especially with it being high-waisted. You can tuck the turtleneck in, put a nice little belt around it. Always pair these. I will only, only pair these with a white trainer. I would never pair them with a loafer. I wouldn't even pair them with a boot, really. That, and of course, the white trainer is the uh, Le Boutons as well. I, the first time I actually wore these wide legs was to go and get a Christmas tree, and I actually paired it with a really tight, black turtleneck, a formal Sunday. This would be an ideal outfit without a doubt. If you've got this far in the video, once again, thank you very much. <laughs> so I just thought that this part of the video might be interesting to actually tell you a little bit more information about Ami, the fashion brand. But the fashion brand is quite a new and upcoming fashion brand in a way, even though it's so established and a lot of people know about it. 
Um, it is quite young for a fashion brand. But Ami officially launched in 2011 and it's designed for everyone, anyone who's everyone, which I personally think that the day and age that we live in, everything should be acceptable for everyone and anyone can be whoever they want to be. So Ami actually specializes in essentials. Look at this designer as quite an essential store. So a long sleeve, stripy top, a turtleneck, maybe some wide leg trousers, a standard camel coat, things like this, things which you need in your wardrobe to create that sort of sense of timeless pieces. I think that sort of keyword of is accessible for everyone is really showcased in the collaborations that they've done in the past. They've done collaborations with Montclair, nations with Eastpac, they've done collaborations with The Gap as well. And that is just showcasing that it's actually there for everyone and anyone, and it isn't targeting a certain demographic. The first time I saw Ami was actually whilst watching Queer Eye and I saw Anthony wear one of the tops, I think it was. And I was just like, oh my God, I love this. Please don't tell me I am the only one that does this. I typed in A <laughs> into Google because I was like, I don't even know what it is. And it was like, A, heart, love heart. And then it comes up Ami. You know, if you've read some of my blog posts, I'm actually in that transition now of transitioning my wardrobe into an essential piece wardrobe, but also, uh, investing in investment pieces. So whether that is expensive pieces or if it's good quality pieces, it's creating that aesthetic of a wardrobe, which I know will last me for years. I forgot to mention at the start of the video, if you haven't already done so, go and grab yourself a lovely coffee or a cup of tea, whatever your preferences are. You might not like hot drinks, so go and grab yourself a water or whatever, a nice, nice little sparkling elder flower. That would be divine. And now let's continue with the video and we're going straight into informal. So creating this turtleneck into a bit more of an informal look. When I say an informal look, I probably do mean a bit more of a weekend look, not going to work, maybe going out for lunch when we can do. Um, and I'm sure I'm not the only one at the moment who is constantly in jeans, joggers, things that I would not really necessarily wear day to day. First informal look we've got are these sort of boyfriend Levi jeans. I bought these jeans in the first lockdown. Levi's had a sale on and I just thought, you know what, I, I, I don't own a pair of Levi's, so why not start now? Um, so these are sort of a boyfriend jeans. They are quite, I think they were called like a balloon fit. I'm not quite sure, uh, but they are quite oversized. So at the bottom I've turned them up and at the top I have gone for a waist 31, I believe, uh, which I normally go for a waist 30. Uh, but this just gives it that sort of cash vibe that I'm actually going to be wearing my Vajas in this one. That Sunday outfit where you could go out with friends, go and grab a coffee. This is the closest that I would go for a jogger. So these are some Seasucker trousers, sort of jogger type. The reason why I say that they're a bit more of a jogger type is because there's a, an elastic band around the waist as well as elastic at the bottom. So it sort of tapers it in a little bit better. Um, and the oversized search net goes really well and it sort of flows. So you've sort of got this slate grey sear sucker trouser with a bit more of a lighter grey turtleneck. And I would most likely pair these with iconic Gucci trainers. This is more of a vibe that I would probably wear in the house or once again, just a weekend vibe. Maybe when we can go traveling again, this might be a really good traveling outfit as it is comfy, it's super warm, and we all know how cold it gets on the planes. Keeping that sort of elevated, informal look. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the video. If you've made it this far, thank you. It means so much to me. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and please do like. I'm going to try and make a lovely community here and I really want to start talking about fashion and what we like, what we don't like, a lot more opinions. And I think, you know, if I can create a platform where people can just talk about what they want to talk about, even if it's fashion or even if it's like lifestyle, then for me, that's what I really want. If you really enjoyed this video, you can also go and click on the blog post, which is below in the comment section. That will take you straight over to my blog account where there's loads of other blogs that you're more than welcome to read into. Uh, but there is one that is specified for this video, which is all about turtlenecks and how to style them. So the blog actually goes into detail about slimmer turtlenecks as well as oversized ones. So it's not specific to Ami Paris, um, but it does correlate to all of the other turtlenecks.
If you haven't already done so, I'm sure that you probably have, but please give me a follow on Instagram. I'm slowly but surely creating, getting close to 2,000 followers, which, you know, for some people that is small, but for others, it means a lot. And that does mean a lot to me. If you're already clicking on here, why not go down and support my social media channels as well, which are all listed down below, as well as a nice little get to know me, a little bio down there, links, links to where I've purchased some of the items or things which are very similar to those items. You will also find these links in the blog account, which goes into a little bit more detail. So once again, guys, thank you so much for coming along and watching this video and supporting it. Please, please, please give it a thumbs up and yeah, I guess I'll see you in my next one. Until then guys, please stay safe, keep well, and uh, stay out of trouble.